All right, greetings to you. If you just joined me, my name is Daddy Fred. Welcoming you all to the program today here on the Announcer newspaper. You can share the video so your friends will have opportunity to be part of our program. Today we're going to talk about coronavirus disease. Very, very sad situation and very serious problem. It's a global problem now. And we're going to talk about it into details. So if you're watching me live, you can share the video so your friends will have opportunity to be part of a program. We are all at risk. You and I, we are all at, at risk. We can all get that problem. We can all get that disease. But the fact is, you have to take precautions uh, so that um, in one way or the other, you'll be able to say, uh, stay safe and feel good at all times. Now, various reports are coming, so I'm going to give you details of uh, what is actually going on in the world and so far how many people have died as a result of a problem and uh, how many people have been affected as a result of a problem, or the, the coro coronavirus disease. Hello there, we are just saying Andrea, greetings to you. So if you're watching me in live, you can share the video so your friends will have opportunity to be part of today's edition of a problem. I'll give you details about everything. Symptoms and everything about it. So if you're watching me, you are at risk. I'm at risk. Everybody is at risk. So take note of that. Everybody is at risk. But everyone is also safe from the illness that is fast spreading and killing thousands since, since its outbreak in China's Wuhan province. Now, as I'm speaking now, over 50 countries have officially recorded the incident. Over 50 countries. Latest, latest of the countries is Nigeria. Now, Nigeria has reported something just yesterday. Nigerian authorities on Friday reported the first confirmed case of new coronavirus in South African or Sub-Saharan African as an outbreak spread to region with some of the world's weakest health system. Nigerian health minister or commissioner of Lagos has stated that, um, in fact, there was somebody who traveled to Nigeria. The person was in first class, business class of the plane. The person traveled outside he was outside the country to Nigeria, and all of a sudden, when he got to Nigeria on Tuesday, he was from Italy. So when he got to Nigeria on Tuesday, uh, they realized that something like that was going on. As a matter of fact, right now, African countries, almost 13 African countries, have reported the incident. Nigeria is the latest one. Global problem and global issue. How are we going to tackle the problem? Corona virus disease. Right now, the most recent update indicate that Nigeria in West Africa has recorded its very first case, like I indicated. Nigeria first case. Ghana, we haven't heard anything so far. Okay. America, according to sources that we have here, America, according to sources we have here, uh, CDC confirms 59 coronavirus cases, including repatriated citizens. So according to information that we have now, worldwide, the whole world, Coronavirus latest cases, 82,487. The whole world, K 
cases reported, 82,487. Deaths, people who have died as a result of the outbreak. Worldwide, 2,809, according to report we have here. This is very, very serious. And they are still looking for medication for it. A total of 59 Americans now have been, uh, now have coronavirus, of which 45 are evacuees from either Wuhan, China, or the cruise ship that was quarantined in Japan. So you see the whole situation now. It is spreading rapidly. We are praying that uh, we all feel to become safe without any inconvenience. According to World Health Organization, there are so many things that you need to do so that you over time feel safe from the problem. I'll give you details about that. But one may ask, what is coronavirus disease? It is caused by a member of coronavirus family that has not been encountered before. They haven't seen that virus before. Like other coronaviruses, it has come from animals. Many of those initially infected either worked or frequently shop in the seafood wholesale market in the uh, center of China City. One may ask, if you have uh, coronavirus, what are the symptoms? How would you know that you have it or you don't have it? The virus can cause pneumonia. It can cause pneumonia. Those who have Falling ill are reported to suffer coughs. You see that the coughing, the coughing, the coughing, fever, and breathing difficulties. So you see those who are having that problem, they will cough, 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 and then you see that at the same time, they they, they, they will have fever. Their body have feverish body, and then breathing difficulties. Like if they breathe and they find it difficult to breathe, they find it difficult to breathe. In severe cases, there can be organ failure. So you can see the gravity and seriousness of the virus. As this vi uh, viral pneumonia, antibiotics are of no use. You see, normally if somebody has those problems, they get antibiotics or those things, now it has no use. It's difficult now to treat it. So the only solution has been quarantine, uh, keeping people, if you get into a country, they make sure that they evaluate you very well to make sure you don't have any problem with you before you get into the country. But the U.S. soil, we are also experiencing something like that. Now, the U.S. government, according to reports that we have, uh, the Vice President Mark Pence is leading Americans' response to the coronavirus and requested $2.5 billion in emergency funding to combat the outbreak. So those are contingency measures Americans are taking to combat the outbreak. I don't know how far some countries, more especially African countries, what are some of the contingency measures are they putting in place to combat that outbreak, particularly Ghana? What are they doing? They shouldn't be politics. Everybody is at risk. So you don't know how it will be and you don't know how the situation may happen. But let me repeat the symptoms again. So if you're watching me live, you know the symptoms and you know exactly what to do immediately. You observe that. Rosina, a Brobe greetings. Um, repeat, what are the symptoms of this coronavirus uh, case, uh, 
disease. The virus can cause pneumonia. Those who have fallen ill are reported to suffer coughs, like you cough. <coughs> so you see symptoms like that. Additionally, like it will be repeated, additionally, you see that the same person will suffer fever. The temperature will rise, you have high fever, the temperature will go high. And then breathing difficulties, the person will find it difficult to breathe. Remember, earlier, the better. Immediately you see any sign, any symptoms, anything of that, you have to seek medical attention right away. You have to call your doctor immediately. And additionally, you see, it is affecting businesses a lot. And it's a, it, right now, there are so many issues that I will put it. I will, I will let you know exactly what is going on and how is it, how is it affecting businesses, so that you know uh, what we're trying to talk about. So sad, and so you need to be very, very careful and stay protected. You don't need to uh, allow those things to happen to you. And so many things can happen to you. It is seriously affecting businesses. Businesses are being affected as a result of the outbreak. As I'm speaking now, companies ban businesses. Uh, uh, companies ban business travel as outbreak escalates. Big European companies have started to ban or restrict business travel from hundreds of thousands of employees as the coronavirus outbreak uh, uh, escalates. Nestle, one of them, the world's largest food company, said Thursday it has asked all 291,000 of its employees not to travel internationally for business until the middle of March. Domestic travel should be replaced by alternative methods of communication where possible, the company spokesperson added has been the uh, information we have Nestle company according to El Oriel uh, El Oriel all business trips have been suspended until the end of March as precautionary measures Unilever has also said it has been restricting travel to and from northern Italy and other affected countries. Why it matters? The restrictions are piling pressure on airlines and the border travel industry, the broader travel industry, which faces a mental hit of more than 43, 40, 49 billion dollars from coronavirus, according to Global Business Travel Association. So you see how it is affecting travel. Big companies are suspending their travels to places affected by the countries, affected countries. Now there there is a program that should have come on. It is Geneva Motor Show. Now my source that I'm having now says that uh, next week Geneva Motor Shows has been cancelled because of coronavirus. Fears striking and so you see how the whole situation is going on we need to take precautionary measures everything that we are doing we need to be very careful we are all at risk try to stay safe and let's protect ourselves you see the symptoms are earlier stated the virus can cause pneumonia those who have fallen ill are reported to suffer coughs, fever, and breathing difficulties. So if you see those symptoms on you or on one person, you have to seek medical attention immediately. You have to report to your doctor immediately. Additionally, it can cause organ failure. 
like I said, people have died and there have been so many cases, about 50 countries. The latest was Nigeria. Now, according to World Health Organization, stay aware of the latest information of coronavirus outbreak available on their website. Aside that one too, there are certain precautionary measures that you need to take. If you experience fever, coughing a lot, difficult in breathing, seek medical attention right away. Wash your hands frequently. Now let me give you details of why you need to wash your hands frequently. Regularly and thoroughly clean your hands with an alcohol-based hand rub or wash them with soap and water, hot water. Washing your hands with soap and water or using alcohol-based hand rub kills viruses that may be on your hands. So before you eat, before you do everything, before you even put your hand, anything that you are doing, you have to make sure you wash your hand very, very well. You are at risk. I am at risk. Everybody is at risk. So you need to take precautionary measures before it is too late. I'm repeating, about 50 countries have reported incident of coronavirus disease. 50 countries. The latest was Nigeria. Now, maintain social distance. This is very important too. Maintain social distance. If I say maintain social distance, what am I referring to? What am I trying to say? Maintain social distance. So, let's look at that one. If you say maintain social distance, it's very, very important. Maintain at least one meter or three feet distance between yourself and anyone who is coughing or sneezing. So, if you see somebody coughing, <coughs> maintain one meter. Or three feet distance. Why is it important to maintain that? When someone coughs or sneezes, they spray small liquid droplets from their nose or mouth, which may contain virus. If you are too close, you can breathe in the droplets, including corona virus if the person coughing has the disease so now you see the importance of uh, just maintaining that distance if you see somebody is coughing don't get closer to the person don't bring your nose your mouth to the person make sure you make a distance maintain a distance a distance of about one meter or three feet because anytime somebody coughs, you see droplets come from the mouth or the nose. And if you also breathe in or it gets to your mouth and the person is having coronavirus, automatically you are also going to get it. So try as much as possible to maintain that distance. According to World Health Organization, avoid touching eyes, nose, and mouth. I'm repeating, avoid touching my eyes, nose, and mouth. Why? Hands touch many surfaces and can pick up viruses. Once contaminated, hands can transfer the virus to your eyes, nose, and mouth. From there, the virus can enter your body and can make you sick. So, you see, 
Avoid touching your eyes, your nose, and your mouth. Why? Hands touch many surfaces and can pick up viruses. Once contaminated, hands can transfer the virus to your eye, to your nose, or mouth. From there, the virus can enter your body and can make you sick. So put that one in your mind. Practice res respiratory hygiene. According to World Health Organization, practice respiratory hygiene. Make sure you and other people around you follow good respiratory hygiene. This means covering your mouth and nose with your bent elbow or tissue when you cough or sneeze. Then dispose of the used tissue immediately. So, you see, practice respiratory hygiene. When you are coughing or sneezing, use tissue to cover. You see, you use tissue, you cough in or you sneezing. Or you do this, it goes here. You see what I mean? So, when those things happen, it can never or it cannot be transferred to any other person. We are all at risk. We have to take precautionary measures so that we can protect ourselves and others. If you have fever, cough, or difficulty breathing, seek medical care early. I'm repeating. If you have fever, cough, or difficulty breathing, seek medical care right away. Stay home if you feel unwell. If you have fever, cough, or difficulty breathing, seek medical attention and call in advance. Follow the directions of your local health authority. National and local authorities will have the most up-to-date information on the situation in your area. So all the time, call them, find out what is going on in your locality. They will let you know exactly what is going on. Your health is very important. And there is one thing you have to remember, that coronavirus has no cure for now. And it has right now about 50 countries have reported the incident. 50 countries, including America. Nigeria is the latest. So you see the gravity of the whole situation. I'm repeating this again. About 82,487 cases have been reported so far. Out of that, 2,809 have died. This is serious. 2,000. It doesn't have cure for now. So many countries are putting intervention measures in place. For instance, uh, they are putting them in place. For instance, um, quarantine people who have been traveling from places to other people are going here, going here countries to this. They are making sure that they quarantine them, making sure that they evaluating them to find out if they are not having any problem, uh, making sure that they report any incident as soon as possible. And doctors, scientists, everybody, they are all working tirelessly to make sure that the problem they get antidote to the problem. But as I'm speaking now, there is no cure now. So everybody is at risk now. You need to protect yourself, your friends, and your family.
So if you are in truck truck in Ghana or public transport, I've told you earlier, maintain at least one meter or three feet distance between yourself and anyone coughing or sneezing. If you see somebody is coughing or sneezing, make sure you maintain that distance, okay? You maintain that distance. It's very important. Your health is important. So try as much as possible and then work towards it. China's National Health Commission has confirmed human-to-human -human transmission. And there have been such transmissions everywhere or elsewhere. Human-to-human -human transmission. So meaning from this person, it can get to you through coughing, sneezing. So you have to be very careful. I've told you earlier that you don't need to be touching your eyes, your nose, and your mouth. Make sure you take standard precautions of your life. We are all at risk. Let us all work together. And let us pray that the problem will be solved. The U.S. government is working tirelessly. The budgeted money to fight or to combat the disease. Like I told you, the Vice President of the United States is leading the team, US team, to combat the disease. So you can imagine how they've, they've attached seriousness to it. It is becoming a sad situation that up to now, The virus is in the system. They haven't got any cure for it. So the U.S. Vice President Mark Pence to lead Americans' response to coronavirus and requested $2.5 billion in emergency funding to combat the outbreak. We are hoping that other countries in Africa, like what we just, information that we just had in Nigeria, he also reported an incident that a certain man traveled from Italy to Nigeria first class and the person, they realized that that thing was happening with the person. Countries in Africa, they should take serious precautions. We have families there. U.S. is taking serious precautions. Right now, about 59 people, uh, cases have been reported here. Almost 60 now. We don't know how it's going to be. So we should all pray that they get medication to counter the situation. Until then, you need to take standard precautions of your life. Your life is precious. Your friend's life is also precious. So protect yourself, protect your friend, protect your family by following the standard precautions. One meter, I'm repeating, one meter or three feet distance from someone who is coughing and sneezing. Now the question is, if we're cashier and you're cashing somebody out and the person is coughing right in front of you, what will you do? That one to is another turn all together. So right now the problem is not only for the people of China, but it has become a global problem of which you should all play your part to help the situation. Play your part. What you can do, educate people. Let people know the consequences of a disease and how it can affect them. Because they are also at risk. Likewise, I'm at risk. Everybody is at risk. So if you're watching me live and you find it difficult breathing, you have fever, you're coughing, you're sneezing, and it has become continuous, make sure you seek medical attention right away. But they will help you and solve the problem as early as possible. Thank you very much for joining. My name is Daddy Fred. But before I go, 
let me give you basic protective measures against new coronavirus disease. Wash your hands frequently. Maintain social distance. Social distancing. Washing your hands frequently with soap and hot water or using alcohol-based hand rub kills viruses that may be on your hand. Maintain social distancing. If you see somebody sneezing or coughing, make sure you maintain at least one meter or three feet distance between yourself and anyone who is coughing or sneezing. Avoid touching your eyes, your nose and mouth. Hands touch many surfaces and can pick up viruses. Once contaminated, hands can transfer the virus to your eyes, nose, and mouth. From there, the virus can enter your body and can make you sick. So avoid touching your eyes, your nose, and your mouth. Practice respiratory hygiene. Ensure that make sure and the people around you follow good respiratory hygiene. This means covering your mouth and nose with your bent elbow or tissue when you cough or sneeze. Then dispose of the used tissue immediately. Dispose of the used tissue immediately. If you have fever, cough of difficulty breathing seek medical care right away my name is daddy Frey. thank you very much for joining me here on the program may god almighty god richly bless you all bye